Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 14. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Boo here from High Tech Investment and welcome back to this week's news report that has some uh, excellent news. We actually have uh, news and updates. So for Elevate Pass, there seems to be a way forward for their platform in the future. We're going to show you a bit more about it. So this has come out this particular week. We did have a chance to just uh, have a quick uh, brief chat also with the CEO there. On top of this, we have news also on the tree coin, which has uh, basically taken a jump up a couple of hundred percent almost here in the last week. So very good news here also. More information coming out of the Trillion and Chilando platform here itself. And on top of this, we are also now in April. And that uh, again here means that uh, basically we now have the profit in from the Yelnos platform and uh, a lot more information you will find through all this uh, news report today. So let's get started. And uh, the good news here is the 5% quarterly profit is now in with Yield Notes and we have received it on this particular platform here. So for us, it was just about 2,250 euros and they have been added to the platform. Yes, we know we cannot take it out if we still have to wait. It is also April, which means that there is some NFT coming later on in uh, this particular month. We don't know exactly when that's going to be, but we have made a video. So this particular week, so over the weekend, we uh, just made a bit of sum up again. So you understand that uh, where we are with yield notes, how far we've gotten and how much uh, is still left to go. We did uh, manage to talk uh, very quickly to Uots also earlier this week, but not get any specific details. So we hope that that is also to come sometimes here in April. As soon as we have the information, obviously we will share it with you. Now also on the uh, Decenemy coins, we have some good positive movements. Unfortunately, it's not on SAP. It is uh, moving in the right direction, at least uh, by just a bit over a percent. If we look at the iHost MN uh, website here again, we can see that the return on the investment has gone down about 3%, 55% it was last week per year. Now it's down to 52, but shared masternoding overall, we are looking at 2.5% for the SAP coin uh, over this week, which is quite normal. So we're happy with that. And then the overall coin development is slightly positive. And uh, yeah, we're not exactly at 1%, but it's definitely going from a big minus to a slightly smaller one. And we take that on the graph itself. It is pretty flat, but you can see there is a slight increase. So on the graph, uh, we'll have to see if that's going to continue. It is still very early days, but what we have seen on some of the other um, platforms, and especially when we come to one of the other coins here, uh, it looks promising. Now, PNY has had a lot of trouble and has been flat as a pancake for a long time. And when we look at the return on the investment, so on the iHost MN website here, we can see that it is actually up. Last week, we had a sharp dive, almost 10%, down to 55% return on the investment per year. Now it's back up to 64, so basically where it was the week before. And that means that we now have uh, roughly around 6% for the week, which is again low. We used to have 10% when things were really good. Overall coin development is pretty much status quo, as you can see here. Uh, there's not really any change in the price, uh, price uh, fluctuation at all within the coin. That's that also what makes this particular graph flat as a pancake, as we have seen for so many weeks now. Now, the good news is that uh, Birek or beer here is uh, moving forward. We saw that in the last couple of weeks and it continues to do so. Even though the return on the investment per year has uh, gone down, it was 152% last week. Now it's 148, so 4% down. But it still means that we are quite well off at the moment. So we're looking at 8 9%. So for that particular week, which is great. And overall coin development is also up by around 15% now up back in plus which it also was the week before and it has been doing quite well and uh, we only back in january were at minus uh, 45 percent so having this now back in plus 45 is excellent news very happy with that overall as you can see we hit the bottom uh, that is now some weeks and months ago and basically back in january as i mentioned here 
we can see the graph is slowly but surely going upwards. And uh, that is a good sign that uh, something is happening on the crypto platforms again. They are receiving a bit more volume and that is basically um, where uh, the price movement comes from. Now, uh, having a look at Bitcoin, so we have seen that Bitcoin has now hit the $29,000 mark, which is uh, great news, but it was only for a very short period of time. It spiked up in there shortly after our last news report. And since then, it has been moving around somewhere between the $27,000 and $29,000 mark. Right now, it is pretty much stable and trading sideways at around 20, 28000 So we'll have to see where we're going to go from here. But it certainly seems like it's found a, a very good level for a long-term period. And long-term period is for the last couple of weeks. Elevate Pass. Well, on the profit uh, side for week 14, there's no news. There's basically nothing in here. But apart from that, there's actually plenty of news with Elevate Pass. So we have now seen that the CEO has uh, announced that uh, they are now working together with Abundant Staking. And it has now been implemented as part of the Elevate Pass platform. That doesn't necessarily mean that you can use your Elevate Pass uh, money uh, to basically go in and stake. That is not what we understand here. This is basically an addition uh, within the platform and uh, you can find that particular one. If you go to the Elevate um, Pass platform, go to Opportunities and there you will learn a bit more about the USD staking, where you can basically make up to, up to uh, not necessarily 7.5%, but up to 7.5% per two weeks on your contribution itself. So this is an additional uh, investment parts and basically why they are putting this in place from what we understand is to try and accelerate the uh, money and trying to accelerate the recovery of Elevate Pass itself where if you are using these particular links in here uh, there will be a small commission so within the Elevate Pass platform that can then be used to trade further. Now, the abundant staking has basically something to do with centralized Forex, so basically trading Forex, which is a bit of a surprise to us, but obviously it doesn't really matter where it comes from as long as it's stable trading. Uh, and we have also seen a couple of posts, which uh, is actually about crypto. We're not exactly sure where that is coming from. And we wanted to have a video conference or a video interview here with the CEO, Raphael, this week. Unfortunately, he hasn't come back to us on a particular uh, time and date here yet, but we'll try and chase him and get some more information out of this new uh, exciting part. If this is actually something for the members where they can help out Elevate Pass while still making uh, some money, yes, you have to invest uh, a bit more. We, we know that and uh, we have made that clear to everybody who is asking, but I think it will be a good thing if we can get Raphael to explain further to this. We are currently digging into it and basically we want to see uh, some trading experience from the people behind it, which we haven't been able to find so far, but I'm sure uh, some of it will be made available to us, uh, hopefully very, very soon. Now, uh, when you go and click these links, you will basically be uh, coming over to the abundance staking site. Again here, it will explain a bit more what it's all about and you can then set up your MetaMask wallet uh, within that platform and basically transfer money that way, which is obviously uh, quite nice. But again, as we said, you cannot transfer the money. So within the Elevate Pass that you already have, uh, that is still uh, off limits until uh, they have recovered everything from uh, the discrepancies with the CFO last year. Now, if we go to the uh, Trillion platform and Trilando here, uh, the newsletter just came out uh, yesterday before we were shooting this particular video here. Now saying that Trilando has registered over 1,200 merchandises in here or merchants and uh, 80,000 satisfied customers so far. And uh, well, we'll have to take their word for it. So, but it is definitely growing. There's no doubt about that. On top of this, they are also uh, going out in their news report here and explaining that should be aware of scams. Apparently there's messages, emails claiming that you should send some of your tree tokens to some of the different exchanges. And if you are following our news report, you know what exchanges those particular ones are. They will never reach out to you and ask you to put any money in there. 
So please be careful so that you uh, don't get yourself persuaded into sending coins where they shouldn't go, especially at the moment, because we also see the coin price is going up. On top of this, fake news on so social media. Well, that is nothing new, but apparently there's a lot of scam messages now uh, on the rise on Instagram. That's what they are telling us here. We haven't really seen any, but we are not really looking for them either. The best place you can normally go is go to the platform itself and both find the videos, information and other material when it comes to the Trillion platform itself or go to the WhatsApp section. So again, the Trillion packs, everything else, that is still the same. Uh, as we said, it is a very boring staking system because you basically put your money in there and you lock it in for four, nine, 26 weeks, which is the short term. You get either one and a half, three and a half or 11 percent spread over the four, nine or 26 weeks. And then you can do the long term thing, which is what we have done, where we're hoping the coin price will go up. We actually uh, started off with the five cents, then it went for 10 cents. And after that, you got a chance to uh, stake it at 13 cents, which means that we are getting uh, more than we originally had in there. But since then, the coin price has gone down and that's what we're going to look at today. Now it has developed in a positive way. If we look at the graph itself, you can see it's gotten pretty flat and that's because we have actually uh, gone up by quite a bit on the coin size. So last week we were at point triple zero three three seven seven on xd.com. Now you can see we have gone up several hundred percent. So now we are still in the three uh, zeros, 9398, but we were actually um, back up so or down, down to only two zeros in here. Um, we'll hope and see that uh, things are moving ahead as they should. We can see a lot of information, a lot of details coming out from the Trillion CEO mentioning that uh, there is less and less coins in circulation. A lot of them are being staked at the moment and the company itself also has quite a few. And uh, if we are running low on these, then automatically the price will go up. But exactly how much is out there and how much is going to mean for the coin price, we'll have to see if this particular week is just a, a freak and it will go back down again or it will change. Now, if you go to CoinStore, it is a similar story here, um, pretty flat since last week. So small movements. And we were at uh, 0 0.000391. CoinStore has it now at 0 0.000974 and as you can see here we also popped up so uh, quite a bit before we uh, dropped again this time around it seems to have found a new level um, so obviously we are hoping for even more in the next uh, couple of weeks and definitely in the months to come here too. Solar Kingdom was our little project we started back with Solar Farm that was an excellent uh, part in here so especially because of the uh, virtual casinos and all the other things a lot of people were very excited about this and uh, it seems like it was all happening then uh, there was a bit of misuse on the uh, misuse on the platform itself it ended up with solar farm 2 and then solar kingdom here and it looks like the developers has basically either lost interest or simply can't manage these things overall we mentioned last week that we uh, had a bit of loss. We simply couldn't do any rebuys um, in there uh, because it was depleting faster than it was actually going up. Now that has been changed. Uh, we didn't get a response other than just things changed on the platform. But right now they are st status quo, as you see. And uh, basically we decided we're going to move on and uh, cancel this solar kingdom here and focus on our other things. We have plenty of other things and not necessarily all of them are on this particular news report. Now on top of this, BNB versus USD has also been fairly stable. It did take a bit of a dive during the week. We left it last week still over 300, so about $315. And since then it dropped down to 300 for a short period of time on the graph, as you can see here. And now it's moving sideways again, currently at $312, so not too bad. It used to be a bit higher, about the uh, $320, $330, but $312 is, uh, is a fairly good amount at the moment. Now, Money3, uh, we had a bad month on the month of March here itself. We have a couple of videos where we explain exactly uh, what happened as we took a basically 30% loss on both the accounts, both the Blaze Broker and the IG Broker. 
and uh, we went in and dissect every single trade. You can find more on that. So within the Money Tree uh, playlist that we have in the video description below here, as always. And obviously now we need to recover part of all this again. And that's obviously going to take a bit of time, especially as you can see here, week 13. It was a positive week, but again, we are only coming in at 0.7% for basically both uh, the brokers. There's a small uh, difference. So $48 on one and 49 on the IG broker itself. The IG broker continues also to have some weird ghostly trades that uh, open up so for two or three seconds and close again and that takes a bit of profit away from it overall and uh, we have now also documented that quite a few times now you can find more about uh, these two links and how they trade on our website you have the two links here you simply go and click in and you can follow all the trades on the fx blue links now we also have our profit retriever robot and we have our portfolio and that continues to develop quite nicely. As you can see, our history is 385 days old, so more than a year now. And at the moment we have a huge uh, floating profit issue. It is only a couple of weeks ago where we were actually below 20,000 on all of the 25 that we had in here. Since then, it has uh, gone a bit sideways because of the uh, financial markets and all the information that has come out here. It is, however, um, only a few of them, again, that is in heavy drawdown. And mostly it is indexes and it's uh, metals that has uh, had a hard time trying to follow this. Especially gold has uh, basically rocketed up in the last couple of days and at a uh, back up to the uh, all time high almost here. So uh, which has only been achieved, I think, uh, once or twice uh, in the last couple of years. So we'll have to see if that's going to continue or it's going to come back down again and then close the trades and uh, we can get going. So uh, we see that also on the Expert Forex uh, premium forum site. There's a lot of people complaining that it is in drawdown, but welcome to the profit retriever. We've been telling you this since day one. This is part of the trading experience with the profit retriever. Yes, it cashes in quite nicely. And as you can see here also, um, it's not exactly like any of the month here is in negative. Even last month uh, that we documented uh, was down by 14,000 or we'd lost 14 or 15,000 in here we still ended up in nice profit. And as you can see also here now, it's on the 4th, meaning we only have a couple of days of trading for April and we are already up 2,300. So there's not really anything to cry about. That is why we are trading it in a portfolio while a few of them is in heavy drawdown. The other ones are still cashing in and you should have money in the account at the end of the day. This is the graph as it looks right now. And uh, we have explained exactly before um, the changes we make on this particular graph. You won't be able to see the loss that we took, but we have documented that in a video, removed that particular signal because it was actually interfering with some of the numbers we had on FX Blue. And then we added another three accounts that what, what we have been doing uh, all the way through the year. But we always document the losses as well as we document the profit itself. And the document profit, we actually did a new type of video in here uh, because we have heard a lot of people, they have a hard time understanding exactly the uh, weekly post we do and the monthly post of the top fives. So we did it in a different way this time around. We took the profit retriever, we took our portfolio and we showed you, including the losses I just talked to you about here before, Q1 for 2023, everything included, $69,000 in profit over those three months, which was basically more than 30%. So this is the video you want to go and see if you want to learn something about the signals, if you want to learn something about trading over time and the profits that you can actually make out of it. Now the profit retriever for week 13, we continue to do the top five EA. So you have an understanding of which ones are moving, which ones are the best ones at the moment. And the US 30, uh, the second indicator here, we are running uh, a couple of double up, but they are with different settings. Made $1,244 or 12.4%. The rest was quite low. Euro Japanese 5.1, Aussie Japanese 4.7, Euro New Zealand 3.4, and Aussie US dollars 2.7. Overall, we only made on the top five $2,825 or 5.7%, which is obviously not um, what we have been used to. But again, the market conditions for the last couple of weeks um, has basically been extremely difficult. 
due to the uh, banking issues and due to the rate increases, things like this, that all affects the robot. Now on top of this, we also do the monthly profits and that gives you a lot better indication of where the profit retriever is going and which EAs, which metals, indexes and currencies you want to have a closer look at if you want to trade yourself. The US 30, it has been extremely good and this is the first signal we actually put up, 28% for the month and Aussie Japanese, the second one is 26.2%. Bitcoin USD is one that we currently have removed because uh, it has a lot of volatility in there and we didn't want people to trade it, but we traded on our portfolio. It has done actually extremely well, as you can see, 22.9%. US CAT also did quite well, 22.4%. Euro Japanese also 22, but 03 And at the end of the day, the uh, top five is at $12,181 or 24%. 0.4%. So we're quite happy with this. And you are supposed to basically look and analyze these particular posts and go and uh, find some of the details within the FX Blue site itself. Now, this time around, because we made the other video, we found it interesting also to go on the uh, Expert Forex homepage and take some of the signals out here. And we made a video this week. So this is only uh, two days old. And we found eight copy links, which is basically high performing. They are low drawdowns and they continue every single month to take in profit. Some of them only make four or five hundred dollars in one month. And then the next month they are doing about two thousand somewhere between there. And uh, the good part is that all of these just continues to cash in. If you would have bet on these uh, eight, which is also highly marked as a low risk in there. You would have made $10,000 average per month. And we show you that in the video. And we also show you exactly how we pick them or how you can put data together to find your links that you want to trade with to see if they're actually good or bad, because there is quite a few things that you can look at. People have different ways of looking at it too. So if you are interested in having a closer look at all this profit retriever stuff again, then our website is definitely one of the better places to go. Profit retriever, dark blue, as you can see here, is if you're interested in trading profit retriever yourself, we have plenty of videos in there to get you started and help you out. And if you think that this is way too much for you, then you go to the copy link trading and we also help you with a lot of videos, information, details over there to make sure that you know exactly uh, what to expect. Now, also what to expect is linked to success, which is still part of the Expert Forex coupling service in here. Alex made a video with, uh, again, counts that made more than 20% uh, per month. And uh, overall, again, we are not too interested in that type of thing. We are more interested in the average over time because we have seen in the past that some of these links that are in there they make a lot of money but they actually made it well before they actually uh, entered the trading itself since then people have dialed them down heavily so the percentages is not always reflecting in what is actually doing now or what it has been doing for the last couple of months and that's why uh, you can obviously watch the video but maybe uh, take that with a grain of salt and have a look at some of the videos that we have made too on top of this, he has also uh, taken the time here this week to um, show you how you can open up Forex demo accounts and the different steps that you have to go through in order to do that. We also have some on our website and uh, all this combined together, then there's definitely a good chance that you should be ready to trade anytime you want. And that's what we have for you in this week's news report. As you can see, things are moving. It is spring, uh, so uh, there is uh, definitely good vibes in the air. We hope it's going to continue and uh, definitely bloom here in the summertime. And we'll have to see. So please follow our news report every single week. And uh, of course, you do that easily by hitting the notification button. Please give us a thumbs up also if you enjoyed this news report, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report, so please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.